upset about child labor? Raise your hands if you're upset about child labor. I was raised for child labor. First seven years of my life, I thought my name was while you're up. While you're up, get me a beer. While you're up, mow the lawn. Hell, my dad had the first remote in 1965. It was me. Get up and change the channel, you little bastard. He was fun. He was fun. Yep. On foggy days, he'd make us run between headlights to see if they were cars or motorcycles. Sometimes they were cars. I told him one time, I said, Dad, Dad, can we go to the zoo? He says, Son, if the zoo wants you, they'll fucking come get you. <laughs> we were out playing softball in the middle of a horse pasture. I said, Dad, I gotta go to the bathroom. He says, Go over by the fence. It was electric. <laughs> I still get excited at NB Energy Trucks. <laughs> crazy. We had my parents cremated. They fought it, but we got it done anyway. And the reason we had my parents cremated was because I don't really believe in zombies, but just in case. They're going to need a lot of Elmer's glue oil to get their shit together. starts thinking he's going to hell. <laughs> now my father's ashes were scattered first. And they were scattered by my brother and his lovely wife Angie and my mom. Now, if ever there was a wicked witch, it was my mom. I can say that I love her dearly. Before she died, she says, we need to get all three kids together. Why? I need to talk to you about insurance money. I'm thinking, hot damn. I'm going to get paid back for all those years. She gets all three of us together. She goes, I have $6,000 insurance. What do you want to do with it? I said, pine box, $800. Cremation, $1,200. So, Dad, we, they take his ashes up to Northern California, and they're driving up and down because my mom wants to scatter them near the sequoias. And after like five hours, they finally get to this place. Now, she goes, my mom takes the ashes, and she goes to the five-year-old and the three-year-old and says, here, scatter pop. because the kids ran screaming to the car. They think they're going to see Pop Pop. He's going to pop up everywhere. They start scattering ashes. My brother figures, I've had enough. He takes the end of the bag and he's going to get rid of the ashes. And he goes like this. Now you can never predict when the wind comes off the ocean in Northern California. My brother's now wearing my father. It's in his eyes, it's in his ears, it's in his nose, it's on his clothing. And at that point in time, my mother says, I don't think this is the right place to scatter it. <laughs> my brother was cool. He looked her right in the eye and very calmly said to her, well, unless you got a fucking dustbuster, he's staying right here. 